Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading. Uh, this is going to be for Capricorn. Is it a good is it a good idea for you to reach out uh, for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for November twenty twenty two? So these are the Capricorn individuals that are currently uh, in no contact with somebody. So we're going to see if it's a good idea for you to reach out and what will happen if you did reach out to this individual. So. Um, even though this is love focused, this could be with anybody. Apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, you can switch the roles if you want. Um, uh, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Capricorn people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below, okay? So um, Capricorn, let's get started. Tell me about Capricorn here. Tell me about Capricorn, the person that Capricorn is currently in no contact with. Is it a good idea for Capricorn to reach out to the person that they are currently in no contact with for uh, November 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Capricorn? Okay, we have a jumper here. It jumped out in the reverse. I'll flip it over. We have the King of Pentacles that flipped over also. Okay. Could be dealing with another Capricorn here or a Virgo or a Taurus. We have the Wheel of Fortune. I'll pull the rest. Okay. We have the Magician in the reverse. I don't think it's a good idea for you to reach out for this uh, to this person. One of the reasons why with the Magician in the reverse, this could be indication that this person does not have what it takes to be in a relationship here with you, okay? This could also be indication that with the Magician in the reverse, this person could be very, 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 very manipulative, okay? Uh, we have the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the Eight of Pentacles here and the Wheel of Fortune. I am getting a bit of a ga master gaslighter with this person. Yeah, um, this is interesting because I feel like this person, <laughs> I don't know, um, this person could be the type of person that doesn't really want the best for you or that they don't want to see you progress in life in a p positive and a healthy way. Okay, so I feel like this is an individual that could stifle your growth and your evolution here. It seems like, yeah, it seems like this person's looking for some sort of reconciliation here. I feel like this person might manipulate their manipulate you into coming back to them with the Ace of Cups here and the Judgment card. I'm going to take that and clarify the Magician here and the King of Pentacles with the Two of Swords here and the Hierophant. I, I feel like this person lacks the moral compass here. I feel like this person also lacks taking responsibility for their actions, okay? Um, yeah, uh, tell me about the Eight of Pentacles here. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles here. We have the Five of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune and Seven of Wands, yeah. Whoever this is, I feel like this is an individual that, you know, I feel like this person is, it's, it's it, you know, I feel like it's good that this person's like, you know, this is who I am, this is what you're gonna get. But at the same time, it's at the detriment of hurting someone else, you know? So I feel like this person doesn't really want to change, okay? Um, I do feel like this person might play the victim a little bit here, uh, but there is a resistance of change here or that there's a resistance of letting you go off on your own and do your own thing here. So I feel like it's kind of like an energy of like misery lights company. So I feel like this person wants you to feel what they're feeling, okay? This person wants to pull you down to their uh, frequency and their vibration. Two of Swords. We have this Five of Wands here, the Hierophant here, and the Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Seems like this person likes to pick fights. One of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this person quotes Bible, Bible verses a lot to sort of like get you in line and get you in check here. Um, this is so interesting because I feel like this person uses it. Yeah, I feel like this person uses religion or uses spiritual uh, practices, you know, to sort of like weaponize it and get you into check or trying to control you or something like that. Okay, so just be careful with this individual. I, I feel like it's not a good idea to reach out to this individual because I feel like 
yeah, they can't, they can't manipulate you, yeah, or that they're good at doing it, okay? Um, tell me about um, uh, Capricorn here. What will happen if Capricorn reached out to the person that they are in no contact with? What if Capricorn reached out to a person that they are in no contact with for November 2022? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Capricorn. All right, we have the Five of Swords here and the Emperor. Not good. Yeah, I, I feel like this person's a master gaslighter. That's what I'm getting here. And I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune here, you know, that's a representation of an opportunity for change. I feel like this person's not really taking the opportunity here. I do feel like this person does wear a couple of different masks. I feel like this person could be fun, outgoing, which is really great. This person one moment, you know, it's just switches on you on a dime here. Okay, the Emperor, Aries energy. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, you know, I feel Queen of Pentacles, there you are right here in the Queen of Wands. One of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this person is also dealing with somebody else here too, uh, 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 Capricorn. Because I feel like that Queen of Pentacles is you, okay? Uh, it, it, or that, you, you know, Capricorn, you might have... You might be in this energy of, you know what, I'm fine on, that, fine on my own, you know, I'm going to clam myself up and, you know, change my looks a little bit, and, you know, do some something different or be more adventurous or outgoing, you know, Ace of Wands here in the Knight of Cups. This person will try and come back. You don't have to do anything here. I don't I don't see I don't foresee you doing anything. It's sort of like more so this person's going to do the work here. We have the Nine of Pentacles here and the Five of Five of Cups. So this person's going to show some sort of remorse here, but I feel like it's all an act. Yeah, I feel like it's all an act. Oh. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles here. Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and the Ten of Wands here. Yeah, so I, what's happening is I feel like you're slowly letting go of this person here. Okay. You know, I do feel like you might have a conversation, for some of you guys, you might have a conversation with this person just to sort of like, you know what, I'm done with this. I'm dropping this. Okay, tell me about the Ace of Wands here, Nine of Cups, Knight of Cups, and the Hermit. I mean, this person's seeing you happy, okay? And I feel like this person's trying to disrupt it. It's like they're trying to come in peace, but I feel like they're trying to rock the boat here and rock your, kind of shake up your world in a very negative way. Like I said, I feel like this person might be the type of person that does not want to see succeed. This person does not want to see happy. Uh, like I said, I feel like there's an energy of like, you know, this person's mis miserable so that this, and that this person also wants someone else to, uh, uh, to be miserable with them. Okay, so Capricorn, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.